Today, we are blessed to present one of these insightful lectures entitled Buddhist Stories, Seven Pictures of Gold, Part 3 of 3, on Between Master and Disciples, given in Chinese and English on August 12, 2015, in France. After many, many years, this house also became rotten and kaput, and the, uh, the snake also died. Yeah. But the soul of the snake is still attached to the gold. So he be born again as a snake. Poison snake. And many, many, many ten thousands of years again and again is born as a snake. Just to keep these seven pitch of gold, you know, around that area all the time, all the time. He never gone anywhere. And then after many thousands of Tens of thousands of years, he, he realizes it's useless. What can you do with the gold when you are a snake? You can't even hold it, <laughs> right? Can't even eat it. Can't even take it to the bank and put it in. Can't even use it to exchange for whatever that is uh, beloved food. Uh, so he feel very fed up now, fed up, fed up, fed up up to there. So he was thinking, to himself, I mean, the snake was thinking, the snake can think, huh? Mind you. <laughs> uh, because of greed for gold, so I have to be born in such a terrible, ugly body like this. Uh, so it's maybe better I bring this gold to make offering. He mean Buddha or Sangha. And then then I will use that merit to wish for a better life. Huh? Very wise. Mm. Either in heaven or on earth. Okay? After he thought like that, he crawled to the edge of the street, the main road, and hide himself in the grass. And then when one person passed by him and he, he yelled very loud, call him. And the person heard somebody call him, so he looked around, he don't see anyone. Yeah. Yeah, he's hiding inside. And then he wanted to continue to walk away. And then the snake crawled himself all the way out in the middle of the street and say, Hi, uncle. <laughs> Come here, uncle. <laughs> I have something I ask of you, a favor. Mm. And then the person saw there's a snake, it's a poisonous snake. He said, oh, you are a wicked, poisonous being. Why you call me? Huh? Uh, you want me to go near so that you can bite me, huh? Huh? I'm not stupid. <laughs> so the snake said, Yeah, 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 it's me. I'm, you know, I'm poisonous. But if you don't come here, I will kill you. <laughs> and then, you know, the guy was very scared, but what to do? No choice. Eh? So he came near the snake. He's afraid, but come near. Because if he doesn't come, the snake would also fly to him and bite him anyway. Yeah. And then the snake said to him, My house have a pitch of gold. It didn't say seven, so I don't know yet. Can you uh, bring it and to make offering for me? Hmm. If you don't do it, I bite you dead right now. <laughs> so the, the, so the woman said, Yeah, yeah, I, I, I have you right now. Hey, no problem. And then the snake lead the man, led the man all the way to this uh, old house. <laughs> Many ten thousand years ago, still remember where the house is, still, still remember where the gold is. My goodness sake. Uh, all right, so, and then he tell him to dig out one of the pitch and tell him, okay, you bring this pitch of gold to a temple and make offering, but you take out a little bit first, nah? use that to sell and then exchange some money with rice, food, fruits and vegetables and all that, and please make a vegan meal to give it, offering to the Sangha, the monks. Yeah. Whenever you know that the monks will come and accept the offering, you bring uh, sticks here so that I 
we work, you know, like coil on it, and you bring me over there to the temple to see the Sangha eating. Yeah. So they do everything like that, da 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 da. And then the, the, the abbot of the, of the temple said, Oh, what kind of miracle? The poisonous snake still also know how to make offering to the Buddha and Sangha. Okay, I will help you to do that. And then the passerby said, What is the day? So please tell me. So I will prepare. So he said, The next uh, 15 day of the month. This is normally is a vegetarian day. You know, they eat to me. First day of the month, middle of the month, and then uh, end of the month. Some people eat four days, vegetarian. They try their best, and some ten days, like that. Mm. That is also the day you can repent your sin. Yeah, so it's a very, very a good meritorious day. Okay, so the person says, okay, I will go home and take care, arrange it, and they, that day I will come. And the day came, and he really brought a stick, came to the snack area, <laughs> and then the snack was very happy to see him and ask, 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 you know, how are you, and uh, in French. <laughs> Comment allez-vous? <laughs> in Togolese, I don't know how. Togole? Togole, comment allez-vous? Togole? Enfant? Vous n'avez pas une native language? Togolis? Au foie. Au foie. Ah, au foie. That means, how are you? Okay? When you see him, you say au foie. Au foie. <laughs> it looks like goodbye. It sounds like goodbye. Like au foie. Okay. All right. So and then uh, he uh, called himself, he wrapped himself around the stick and then he brought to the temple. Mm. And then the person, you know, uh, covered the, the snake because he's very big, you know. Big, big, big. They cover the snake and the stick with the, the blanket, something like this, so that people don't see it and get scared. You know. And then some people are still curious. Uh, what are you? What are you carrying? So beautiful. And he don't say nothing. And they ask again. Well, what are you carrying on your shoulder? It's so beautiful. He also don't answer. He cannot say it's a beautiful snake. <laughs> <laughs> they ask him three times. He don't answer nothing. Mm. And then the, the snakes saw that he didn't answer. He was very angry. He thought, this man is very rude. People ask him three times respectfully and he don't answer. He is so stupid, so, so stupid. <laughs> At that time when he saw like, he thought like that and he's also angry, so he's poisoned. <laughs> His poison comes out because it's snake nature. He really wants to uh, spray the poison and kill that man right away. But then he thought, no, 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 this man is helping me to do good deeds, so I should not do that. I have to be patient. All right. And then when the man carry uh, walking into some place is empty, nobody in the field, and then he said, please let me down. The snake said to the man, and then, as soon as he touched the ground, he scolded the man. Huh? You? Huh? People, human, have mouth. It's just to speak. Huh? You only use it to eat. <laughs> How come people ask you respectfully three times? You didn't answer. Huh? Idiot. <laughs> so the man uh, heard him scolding like that, but he wasn't angry at all. He felt very repentant. And he very humbly say sorry, sorry, yeah. And the snake said, from now on, you don't behave like this anymore, okay? If anyone asks you, you have to say it very uh, nicely. Say, okay, uh, you have to answer them nicely. Okay. And then the man said, yeah, I will obey your uh, advice. From now on, it won't happen again, yes. So when uh, they came to the temple, he put the snake down in front of the big hall, you know, like lecture hall. And then at that time, all the monks already arrived, and the snake told the man to bring incense to, 
to light incense to offer to the Buddha. And when the man do that, the snake was really very lovingly, sincerely look at him as if he's doing it himself for the Sangha, for the monks, yes. He, he has not even blinked his eyes all the time that the man was doing the ritual, make offering to the Sangha. When uh, all the monks are walking around the Buddha's stupas, and the snake tell the man bring water, so that the monks will not be thirsty walking so long. And then he was also very respectfully looking with his eyes, all the monks, you know, with love and respect. After the monks has finished the meals, they lecture to the snake, <laughs> say. Charity and offering will bring you wealth and health. If you keep the precept, you will be born either in human world or the heavens and have a lot of merit and enjoy happiness. Uh, whenever you see Buddha or Sangha monks, then you should gaze with respect and love. Then later you will be born beautiful and dignified bodies, yes. If you are greedy and hoarding, hoarding uh, properties, uh, don't give to charity, then you will be born as a hungry ghost. If your heart is wicked, then you will be uh, bitten by many of the poisonous snakes or others. After the snake heard that, he was very happy and say, Praise be the reverence. Uh, please come to my house. I have another six pitch of gold. I will offer all to uh, wish for liberation. Mm. Then the abbot of the temple and everybody go there and then bring all the six pitch of gold, come and offer it to the three jewels and uh, do some uh, praying for him and forward this merit to the snake. After that, the snake died. He was born in one of the heaven. Yeah. After that, the Buddha say, Anan, you should know, the one that carried the snake, it was me. <laughs> there was a Buddha in former life. The, <laughs> the poisonous uh, snake, now is uh, Saliputra. Saliputra. Mm. Man. Yeah. Wouldn't you like to bring gold to, to change your life, huh? <laughs> Saliputra was a, a poisonous snake. Gosh. Okay. At that time, even though the snake was scolding me and I was feeling ashamed and repentant, and become humble, you know. Not only that, I treat all beings equally. Up to now, I have not changed my attitude. At that time, I, Anan, and all the Bichu, hearing the Buddha saying thus, everyone was very, very respectful, and our equality spirit, you know, to treat all beings equally, Arise. <laughs> we should really thank the past masters, monks and nuns and scholars who have taken time to record the Buddha's teaching after the masters and Nirvana. And also for the past and present persons, lay or monks or nuns who have really dedicated themselves, sacrificed their time and precious health or under any difficult situation to translate this so that I can read it to you. And we have to thank them. And may they be blessed forever by all the Buddhas, past, present and future. May their merit be immense. May they be liberated forever. Thank you. Why is that? Okay, so now you want to get married to a good wife or not? <laughs>
the man. Okay. Our time is limited, so I keep reading a lot for you. Mm. You never know, huh? You go in soon, maybe. If I can detach myself from you, I also will go anytime. Ah, so many, so many, I was thinking. And after that story, remind me of a hell joke. Oh, the what joke? Hell joke. Hell joke? Yeah. Okay. You want to go to hell? With <laughs> Come on, we're not afraid of hell. Tell us. Okay, the rich man died and he went to heaven. Mm. But when he got there, the gate was locked. Mm -hmm. So he couldn't get in. Mm. And so he was knocking on the pearly gates, trying to get in. Oh. Yeah, knocking on the pearly gates. Then St. Peter came out or not? St. Peter looked and saw him, mm -hmm. and St. Peter comes over to him, and he says, you can't come in. Mm. You don't have any merit. You don't have any merit for heaven, okay? Right. And so the rich man said, right in front of Peter. He said, wait a minute now, wait a minute now. Just last week, I gave a homeless man a dollar. Mm. That's a merit, yeah. And so Peter looked puzzled. So he called Gabriel, mm. and Gabriel came over. And he said, Peter said to Gabriel, Gabriel, what is this? Mm. So Gabriel opened a book of life. And he said, he did that. Mm. But we'd already sent, sentenced him to death. Oh. And the rich man, right in front of Gabriel. Wait, and who, who already sentenced him to death? They'd al he'd already been sentenced to death. Uh huh. Before, but he, before he gave. Before the, the he dollar, gave the one dollar? The dollar to the homeless uh, man. Oh, that's why it's confusing. Okay. And, so, then? and so the rich man said, wait a minute now, mm. wait a minute now, there's more. Mm. And so Peter looked puzzled at Gable again. Mm. He said, Gable, what is this? So Gable and Peter went over to the side, away from the rich man, and discussed it. So Gable opened the books again, mm. and he said, look here, Peter, there is no merit on this guy. Mm. Just like when he was on earth, he lied, cheated, and stole to get ahead. Mm. Now he's trying to lie, cheat, and steal his way in heaven. You know, yeah. And so Peter looked at Gabriel and said, well, Gabriel, what do you think we should do? Gabriel said, give him a dollar back and send him to hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's mean. And he did try. Sent him to death, but he didn't, he didn't give the dollar, right? Oh, he did give. Yeah, meaning it's too late, right? Oh, man. Late is better than never. I should tell Peter that. <laughs> we know now. Yeah. <laughs>